What is up, guys? What is up? We are back. We are back to another episode of um, Pokemon Moon Day 1 Nuzlocke. I actually, I don't know if I said Legend of Pokerus in the last one. Oh well, we're on Route 15 right now, rocking our way through on our new Sharpedo. In the last episode, we got a new Sandow to add to our squad. Let's check up here what's up on this little island here. We're still on Route 15, aren't we? I, I know, I know, Rotom. Show me the map. Show, show me that. Thank you. We are on, indeed, Route 15. So can we get something else that we haven't encountered yet on here? We have encountered a Boris, I am sad to say. We might have to come back for some dupes encounters, though. Not letting Eradicate ruin our Christmas. So let's keep going. See if there's any other encounters on this route. Let's see what this TM is here in the middle of this, like, ring. Uh, reminds me of the Cell games. We found... TM-93 Wild Charge. Can anybody learn Wild Charge? Because we've been looking for a uh, fun electric type. Nobody is able to learn Wild Charge. Surprise, surprise. But... Um, in the upcoming episodes, I did do a teeny bit of research. Oh, facing a trainer. Hey, hey, come on. Let's get our Pokemon. There is a route up here that has a... The only thing we haven't captured on the route is something that I've been wanting literally since we were able to capture it. I don't want to spoil what it is, but I am super excited. I, I doubt we'll get to it in today's episode, because it's all the way up on a Route 17, I believe. So there is Whirly. Whirly's gonna come out and show this um, Vulpix a thing or two. It's hit with a Brick Break. It's neutral, I think. I think it's still Ice Fairy in this position. Ah? No, it's only Ice in, as a Vulpix. It doesn't get the Fairy typing until it evolves into Ninetales, which I can understand. Next is gonna come out Haunter. Um, we're gonna bring out Frank. There's a confused round of Frank. Frank can break through this. No problemo. All the problemos. <laughs> so happy Wednesday, guys. Um I'm so glad to be back to recording. Uh, I did I did take a like if you if you if you've been on my channel for a little bit, I did take a, about a week off of recording. Um or I took a week off of recording. But um I needed to catch up and do all that kind of stuff, just like in my normal life and everything. Just so I could bring you guys quality content, and just... I, I yeah. It was pretty much to bring you guys quality content, because I felt like my content was a little bit lacking in December. Like, I was bringing you daily uploads, but... I could have done better. So, we're gonna... He's gonna go and She's gonna go out into... Wigglytuff. Let us go into our Opeth. Sadly, we haven't gotten any steel moves on Opeth yet. We probably should have learned something sooner than er, earlier. Maybe like Metal Shot or something? I don't, I'm not even sure what it learned. I feel like it learned a special one, and I'm just like, oh, it's special, I shouldn't teach it to it. There we go, there's another big... Wigglytuff is bulky. Wigglytuff is fat. There's there's even more defense. Like, that's what we needed. We're going to have to with a Magnitude. Let's see, see if we can get a big a Magnitude 6. That did absolutely garbage. There's the thing. And now we're asleep. Um, let's hit the Rock Tomb, because we are promised this is the our first turn of sleep, so we're promised to sleep this turn. Um, then there's a Defense Girl. 
So there's no reason to go for the Sucker Punch because we outspeed this thing anyway, plus it's been going for a lot of uh, janky uh, moves. So let's just keep going for the Bulldoze. The Bulldoze should bring it down to almost nothing. Oh! Was that a crit? That was a crit! We needed that crit so badly. So Beth will grow to level 32 here. There goes Ace Train of Carla. Okay, so let us heal up the squad just a bit. Nope. Keep hitting that button. I do it on my main game too. Let's get Frank up and Whirly up. Okay. Let's get on to Route 16, guys. Come on. Interesting. I thought we had a repel up. Unless things, uh, this thing's just that high leveled. Nope, I don't have a repel up. I thought I had a repel up. I'm crazy. So we did have a wing gull. Okay, that, that, I, I didn't have the repel up because we were still looking for Pokemon. So we already have a Pelipper, so that is not going to, that's going to be dupes as way there as well. Those aren't rocks we can break. But as soon as we land on here... Nope, we're still on Route 15. Okay. Found a dive ball, though. I think this is... I think the only thing we can actually get on this route is that Broxish. But I think it's only a fishing thing. So we are... Are, are, are we on Route 16 yet? Now we're on Route 16. So this is where... Stuff starts happening. Okay. So first, 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 first. It's actually no Pokemon. Well, there's 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 a potential of one. But let's go heal our Pokemon first. There's a very special Pokemon we can get on this route, which is going to be really hype. But it does mean we are going to lose one Pokemon on our squad. Okay. We're gonna head right over here. There's also a TM back there. Let us climb right under here. Go back here and see what this TM is. That's TM for X Scissor, which will that will be very nifty. We've been waiting for you. Now let me explain your assembly unit. Cena, you don't even waste a second. You've been collecting Zygord cells and cor cores, right? If you've collected ten or more cells and cores combined, I'll explain it anyway. Reassembling the unit is a device that has something to do with the Pokemon Zygarde. This machine capacity or key is capable of assembling and separating the Zygarde. Assembly is to create a Pokemon called Zygarde. Now, Dexio, it's your turn. Oh, Cena, Cena, Cena. Anyway, there are two ways you can absorb, uh, make a Zygarde. One is to add cells you've collected to Zygarde. The other is to create a new Zygarde with only cells. We'll explain about the separation. Separating Zygarde means you turn Zygarde back into cells. Separating cells is returning... Return, well, separate cells will return back to the Zygarde cube. For information, according... For your information, according to the research the professor sent us in Alola, Zygarde is divided into a hundred cells and cores. Depending on the number of cells and cores, Zygarde will take a different shape. In other words, Zygarde can change forms. Zygarde will maintain the order of Kalos region, and then why is it in Alola? Zygarde is said to maintain the order of Kalos, but then why is it in Alola? Is it a sign that something is about to happen? If you collect Zygarde cells and cores, you may answer. However, we'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. So let us get our Zy let us get our little baby Zygarde. Okay, what would you like to do? We'd like to assemble.
Using Zygarde and Zygarde Cube, using Zygarde... Okay, we're just gonna use Zygarde Cube. We're going to make Zygarde 10%. So we have made a new Zygarde 10%. What are we going to name you? Do we get to name you? Do we get to name you? Zygarde has been added to the Pokedex. The Zygarde form is about is about as at 10% of the cells that can be gathered. It runs across the land at speeds of over 60 miles per hour. And we will give Zygarde a Zix a, Z a, Z a Zix name, a Zix name, a nickname. What were you what are we going to name you? I have an idea. Um Let us name you... You know what? Let us name you... Where did my stylus go? There it is. We're gonna name you Zed. Um... It, I, I can't really explain the name. We're going to add you to party. We're going to add Z to the party. We are going to sadly be replacing Opeth. Um, I think Brunhilda is going to be a nice replacement for Opeth. Um, Opeth is kind of frail. Um, we're going to place it in our bag. Okay. So Z is added to our party. Let's go check out our Z. Summary. So Zine has Lands Wrath, Bind, Dig, and Safeguard with the ability Aura Break. What? You are adamant, which is pretty freaking amazing, actually. We kind of scored there. Okay, okay, level 32. Good. A pretty freaking awesome Zed. Maybe eventually he'll evolve into a Zed Millennium on. Which is kind of, that's kind of where I was going with it. Um, what, is there anything we can capture on this route? Um, there is one possibility. I don't know where it is. Nope, it's not this way. We will come back and take on that trainer, though. Probably during a grinding. I'm trying to avoid the grinding montages at the moment, because I know you guys don't like them as much. But, oh, here it is. Do we get it? Did we get our encounter? Nope, nope, nope. See, I'm looking for... The only thing that we haven't caught on this route is a Crab Brawler. Okay, so, we're gonna make our way on to the next route, actually. Because we're gonna... We're gonna streamline these routes together. Not really. Let me guess, you are wondering what a golfer is doing here in a meadow like this. If you want the answer to the answer to that question, then you have to defeat all the trainers in the meadow first. So let us go into the meadow and try... You know what? You know what? We're, you know what? We're gonna bring out Zed. Zed is going to be the lead of our squad for the moments. Traveling at 60 miles per hour must mean you have some speed on you, so let us go see how much speed you have. We suck the creature into the Zygarde cube. I want to find a Pokemon in this area. Let's sneak down here. Because there's some Nectar. So we got some Red Nectar. Our encounter for the Ula Ula Meadows. Ula Ula Meadows is... Eridos. That is a dupes. That is a dupes. So we get to re-encounter. But first, let us check out and how awesome Z is. Let's set this thing with a Land's Wrath. That's a pretty cool looking animation, I like it. 
So we're speed tying with an area dose, which mm, I don't know if I like that. Okay, I can dig Zed. Picked up an adrenaline orb. See what else we can encounter in this area. What else can we get? A petalil. That is not something we have. So let us capture ourselves a petalil. <laughs> Let's go for a dig. A dig shouldn't take you out. We probably should have switched, maybe. I don't know. We're gonna dig ourselves underground. Let's see what this thing goes for. It goes for a Giga Drain. We take that neutrally, actually. Let's see how much this Giga Drain does. He goes for an aromatherapy now. So it's going to lower uh, our evasiveness. We burrowed our way underground. Actually, a Roman Penelope doesn't lower our base myths. Um, I was thinking of Haze. I don't know. Ooh! That was a crit that almost took it out there. This but we'll go get a little bit of, oh god, that did a lot. Um, we're going to switch out. We're going to switch out into Frank. I miss Liquid Ooze. I wish more, li more Pokemon had Liquid Ooze. It's gonna heal up so much, and it's gonna call for help. But nothing appeared. That means it's time for me to try and capture you. Let's go straight for the Dusk Ball here. I wish Dust Ball. Ooh! Did you hear that, guys? Did you hear that? That was a crit capture. One. And done. One and done. I know exactly what we're naming this thing. We are naming this thing Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen, you're obscene, doing the Dancing Queen. Dancing... Can we pick Queen? We can, we got Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen. Okay, we are going to... We don't want to add Petal to the party, do we? I like our squad the way it is. Um, we do have two ground types, but I think we're going to be okay for now. So we got a Petalil here. That's pretty freaking amazing, to be honest. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. She can see us on another plane of existence? Like, we're not even level with each other. We're faced by last Riley. Okay, so she has a Weavile. We need to get out of here. Z does not want to be taking anything from this Weavile. We are switching right into Whirly here. Hopefully this thing doesn't have Pursuit. It does not, which is good. Using home claws. Okay, so we're gonna go straight for the brick break here. One shot this thing into an oblivion. There's a metal claw. Let's see how we, how we take that. We resist it. We take that like a champ. Okay. The Whirly is level 38. Komala. We're gonna stay in with we're gonna stay in and we're gonna break break this thing into an oblivion as well. And yeah. What's the stats on little Zygarde, to be honest? Okay, the 10% form. 10% form is only a 486 BST, which isn't bad. 
but still rocking. Uh, okay, it's rocking 115 base speed. That's huge. Holy gosh. Okay, so its attack doesn't change in its forms. Its defense does, but its speed is faster in its 10% form. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. It slows down every time it, it changes forms. Um, its defenses go up a bit. Um, its HP is what really grows. It doubles every time. So 10% to 50% goes it's from 54 to 108. And then when you go into complete form, uh, you're 216. That's crazy. 216 base HP. You can sub. You can be sub for days on that. Uh, we are gonna heal up our little fast dune buggy here, Mr. Zed. We're gonna head up this way because there's no way, to, no reason to head that way for now because there's nothing over there. It's a little bit more post game, and we are on Route 17. So Route 17, this is where we're gonna spend the rest of the episode, guys. Also weathering out. No, don't don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, that's a Boris. What's the weather? Um, standard walking. Standard walking. Ugh. There's weather junk here. I almost don't want to do this now because I don't want the weather junk to affect anything. We're gonna go for lands wrath. We outspeed. The worst part is I can't, like, unless I record this a different, the next episode in a different day and just, like, face trainers now, then it won't matter. So, sadly, I might miss out on the Pokemon I really, really wanted. Ugh. This is the life of a Nuzlocker, guys. This is the life of a Nuzlocker. Oh, I can't believe it's raining. Okay, we are going to put Brunhilde up front. I do want to I do want to level up Zed, but I really want to get Brunhilde up to a crocodile. We're going to sneak up here. Okay, so what is our encounter for this route? That's not on Oh, that is on this route. Oh, because we're at night. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Oh, no, because I came up here. If I would have stayed down there... Hmm. See? This is why I'm dumb. So we got ourselves a Graveler. So this is going to be our encounter for this route. So let's hit it with a nice crunch. So we missed out on... The Pokemon I wanted was a Pancham. If I would have stayed in that little grass down there, I would have had a significantly higher chance. Um, we're going to go for another crunch here. I don't know if this thing can hit us. I don't know why it's only going for Thunder Punch, but let's capture it. Let's go for something other than a Dusk, Dusk Ball. Let's just go for a... No, let's go for Dusk Ball. There's no reason not to. I'm like, ah, let's see if that or an Ultra Ball. One. A two. A three. We got ourselves a Graveler. I know exactly what we're naming this thing. Same one I named my other one. Uh, but, so Graveler was added to the Pokedex. So sad we didn't get that Pancham. Pancham is literally my probably second favorite Pokemon ever. Eh, second or third. It, they eat rocks and often s scrape over them. Shock, the shock of the Graveler smashing together causes flashes of lights and a booming noise. So we are going to call you Wooly Willy. You guys don't know what a Wooly Willy is, you are probably younger than I am. <laughs> Wooly Willy was a toy. It was like a little like stocking stuffer toy or whatever you call it nowadays. Where um, there was these little uh, pieces of like magnet shards inside this little, there was like a face under this little plastic cover, and there's magnet shards underneath, or inside of it too. And you would drag those magnet shards around 
with a little uh, stick magnet they gave you, kind of like a stylus, and you drag them around, and you'd make facial hair, or hair, or, like you could make them an Elvis hair, or you could make them like, like have a beard, and that's that's what I think of when I think of, um, that's what I think of when I think of the gravel and the golem being electric now, with all that magnetism, the like the rocks just kind of crunk, like it's not actually attached, it's not actually attached to them, it's just literally like magnetized onto them, so that's what I thought of. So that is Wooly Willy. So let's take on this Team Skull Grunt. Okay. We're going to straight for the Rock Tomb. There's the Air Cutter. We live in that no problems. Lots of problems. That was a crit. You do more than you used to do. You do do more than you used to, but... Oh, that was a crit as well. Ugh. Let's heal you up, because if that was a crit, we can take we should be able to take those, no problem. Though, Air Cutter might be a high crit move. Mm. So there's another Air Cutter. Let's see if this one's a crit as well. Oh, that's a crit too. Yeah, Air Cutter's a high crit move. That's what we're realizing, and that is why we're going to switch out into... Le we can switch out into Frank. Switch out into Frank. Frank also has Rock Tomb, because everything I own has Rock Tomb. So we're going to switch out into Frank here. There's the Air Cutter. We take that for days. Maybe not days, but... Let's hit this thing with a Rock Tomb. Mm, I probably should have healed, because that wasn't a crit. So this is a crit, we lose Frank. Okay. We didn't lose Frank, which is huge, 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 huge. Um, let us use a Hyper Potion here on Frank. Do we have any Hyper Potions? We do. So I don't see, like, we're at, the levels we're at, I don't see any real reason to have to grind, or do level grinding up. Oh, that was a crit. Um, let's switch out. I don't know what we're switching out into. Switch out into Whirly. We can take we can take things better with Whirly, even though it's super effective here. Mm. Is this where I made the bad decision to lose Whirly? Everybody has rocks to throw. Okay, so I think we're gonna we're gonna head down this area just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna head down this little rock path here. I don't remember if I need to go left or right. Left or right. Let's let's go this way. There is a Zygarde core here, which is neat. Was there anything over this way that I missed? I don't know. Let's sneak on here. There is a trainer. So let's heal up our Pokemon just a bit. And we are out of super potions. We are out of Super Potion, so after this battle, we're probably going to fly back. We're going to fly back to the Pokemon Center and pretty much end the episode there. We'll climb back up, we'll cl climb back to Potown, but there's not a healing place till inside Potown, as I, if I remember correctly. And they, char they charge you there. So, yeah. Next time, we're going we're gonna to climb back up here and explore Potown a bit. We might not work our way through all of Potown, but we'll explore it at least. She has a Marini. Okay. Um, Polyrath might not be the best here. I don't really want to bring Brunhilda. Poor Zed. So let's stick with Whirly. Whirly can take the hits pretty easily. Uh, let's just see how much damage we can do if we go for a Z-Scald. Z-Scald. 
there's the Zeke Scald. Scald. Z Scald, I can't talk. Hydro Vortex. Oh, oh man, that was nice. It's about to send out Flow Mantis. We will switch out. It is raining though. Hmm. Let's sound out Obelisk. Let's sound out Obelisk. Obelisk needs some love. Let's go for a nice Ice Fang onto this thing. See if we can one shot it. Ooh, so close. Oh, we freeze it! We freeze it! Oh, that's so awesome. So there goes the Fomantis. Okay, so we defeated another Grunt, which gave us some more money, which is we needed so badly. We, we were literally broke. Okay, so is there anything else down this way? No, I think we're at the bottom. So if we would have went over this way, there is a TM there. So let us fly. Fly, fly, fly. Um, there, Like I said, there is a Pokemon Center up there, but it's controlled by Potown. Well, you can fly up here, but you can't. I can't access it yet. And I think there's like five trainers leading up to it, which I need healing items for that. So we're going to fly back here, we're going to save our game, and that's going to be today's episode. Don't forget to check out tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Monday, Thursdays. Monday, Thursdays is... I'm sorry. Sunday, Sunday Thursdays is single battles, and Tuesday, Saturdays is doubles. So let's heal up our Pokemon. I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. I will see you Friday for another episode. See if we can take on Potown. See what Big Bad Guzma's doing in his uh on his throne or whatever he's got in Potown. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye!